So, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, once again, I'm here to discuss to you or give some idea for the uh, basic uh, electrical theory. Okay, as electrician, it is important for you to have at least a basic theory in electrical. The topic that I'm going to discuss to you is about the basic electrical symbols which is you will uh, see or commonly use in the electrical you will uh, normally see it very common and uh, some abbreviation commonly used also on the side and the most important is the mounting height especially if you are working here in Qatar uh, there is uh, some standards uh, to follow for the installation of our boxes or the standard height. Uh, in, in the absence of the uh, local law for the standard installation, you can always uh, refer to your uh, project specification which in there um, they will give you the standard uh, mounting height installation of the devices for the projects okay so I hope you will enjoy this uh, this topic today and uh, I hope that you get at least a little knowledge from me uh, to, to add in your uh, stack knowledge already so for those who want this uh, uh, topic and those who are not yet subscribed on my channel please subscribe and share and like and please uh, push also the bell notification so that every time that I'm uploading a uh, video like this uh, it will notify you so shall we proceed on the topic for today okay Come, let's do it now. So, to begin with, I'm going to start to show to you the basic electrical symbols, as I say, which is commonly used in the site. Number one is the SMDB or the Sub Main Distribution Board. Number two is the DB or call it distribution board uh, there's a distribution board for light and there's a distribution board for power then the main distribution board or the uh, MDB then these symbols is a single socket outlet normally our socket outlet here uh, uh, which is commonly used in the residential or buildings for SPO is uh, 13 amps only okay and this symbols is for the twin socket outlet okay 13 amps also if you will see it in actual it look like this okay you see single outlet and this one is twin outlet okay now this one is symbol for isolators okay isolators for FCU uh, any motors and in here they were putting the arms rating for example you see like this uh, 30 amps TP so it means that is isolator having a uh, 30 amps ratings and triple okay three phase okay and this symbol is for DP switch uh, like for DP switch for AC DP switch for uh, electric water heater DP switch for hand dryer they will put here additional symbols for example this is like that no you see that like that so it means that is DP switch for electric water heater okay and this symbol is for the switch okay this one is switch one way one gun 
So if you see it, it's like this, okay? One to one switch only in one plate, okay? For this symbol, is a uh, uh, two gang switch, okay? Uh, switch one way two gang. It's like this now. You will see two switch now in one plate, okay? Then this symbol switch one way three gang. So it's like this. Now in the switch, you will see it maybe A, B, C. So it means your switch is having a, a switch for uh, light pictures having a mark of A, B, and C. That is uh, three different types of uh, uh, lighting pictures which this switch is controlling. Then this one is for symbol of exhaust pan okay EF exhaust pan then this symbol EWH is for electric water heater okay and this one HD is stand for hand dryer okay this light this is symbol of lighting pictures okay this is a uh, incandescent type and this is fluorescent type but mostly you will see also the type of pictures they are putting it for example a uh, fluorescent pictures A so it means type A like that okay so if you see a symbol here A so it means it's a lighting pictures type A then you will see it in your specification if you see the symbols okay this is light wall mounted okay you see this symbol this one that is the symbol for uh that the, your, your lighting pictures is a wall mounted lighting pictures this one is a resist type or uh surface type or flash type but this one is wall type okay this symbol you see the S is, is uh, stands for smoke detector okay then this one is heat detector we are now uh, dealing with the fire alarm system and this one is horn and strobe a combination of horn and strobe this one is a brake glass or manual call point this FACV is stands for fire alarm control panel. This is the main panel of uh, our fire alarm system. This symbol is stands for telephone outlet. And this one is a combination of telephone and data outlet. So as I said, it is important to have at least a basic knowledge in electrical symbols because it will uh, help you uh, to how to read the electrical drawings if you have a basic knowledge of these electrical symbols and you know this one it is very easy for you to read the electrical drawing and the implementation is very easy for you now we will go to abbreviation okay uh, which is uh, commonly used also in the site ELB means extra low voltage LB low voltage MB is medium voltage HB high voltage EHB is extra high voltage KW is stands for kilowatts KBA it means kilovolts ampere HP is stands for horsepower. B stands for volts. W stands for watts. A stands for ampere. F, a PF is power factor. SPO stands for small power outlet. SW stands for switch. AC is alternating current. C, uh, this one is the normally used in the local system no for the current 
DC is direct current which is uh, normally the battery DB distribution board uh, SMDB sub main distribution board MDB main distribution board IP is the egress protection okay so gentlemen uh, we will go back to this one ELB extra low voltage is having a uh, uh, less than 20 volt volts that is extra low voltage but if you have more than normally more than 25 volts but less than 1 kb it is low voltage okay if you have uh, greater than 1 kb but uh, less than 33 kb that is medium voltage <clears throat> for uh, 33 kb okay more than more than 33 kb but less than 132 kb that is high voltage <clears throat> and if that is greater than uh, uh, 132 uh, that is already extra high voltage okay so please note of this one and please uh, always remember this so that you are aware of uh, what is the type of voltage uh, rating that you are dealing with okay then our next topic is about the mounting height okay uh, if we deal with mounting height uh, we are always using this AFFL means above finish floor level so it means your measurement is always start from the finish floor level above finish floor level or your a AFFL okay then going to the point that you're going to measure for the lighting switch the standard mounting height especially here in Qatar and as I told you depends on the project specification it is only 1250 mm from center of the box and normally we are using 3 by 3 GI box okay uh, like that okay so 13 amps socket outlet that is uh, 450 mm uh, for single socket you are using 3 by 3 jacks the box and for 3 by 6 we are going to use uh, for the twin socket we are going to use 3 by 6 okay this is uh, I told you no for example this is your uh, FFL okay okay and this is your cooking unit uh, so from the center of the box to the finished floor level you are measuring 1600 now for the socket outlet from the finished floor level to the box center of the box 450 okay now for the 13 amp socket in kitchen uh, from from the top of the work working table you should install it 250 center of the box okay for the cooker control unit uh, it, it is only 1600 okay then for the cooker for the cooker lower unit connection outlet it's only 450 mm and normally we are using only 3 by 3 box okay so next is socket outlet in mechanical room normally we are uh, installing it at the height of uh, 1200 and we are uh, using a uh, 3 by 3 GI back box okay for the panel, the maximum is uh, 2,200 mm, minimum of 2,100 mm from the top of the panel. Okay. Then operating door knobs, selector switch, push button, 1,550. Again, as I said, 
It is depends on the project specification. Okay? For the telephone and data and data outlet, 450 mm, and we are normally using 3x3 GI box. Okay? For the fire alarm break glass or manual call point, we are installing it at the height of 1350 and we are using 3x3 GI back box. Okay? For television outlet, 450 and sometimes it requires 1250. As I said again, it depends on the uh, project specification or the ID. Okay? Wall mounted speakers 2150. Again, it depends on the project specs. Okay, fire bells 2400 mm, and we are normally using 3x3 GI back box. Okay, hand dryers 1 to 50. Okay, and we are using 3x3 box. Uh, why I am I mentioning the back box that you're going to use so that at least. You are aware, for example, you know that the points that you're going to install is for a small power uh, single. So, means you are going to use only 3x3 uh, three three box. But if your, your points that you're going to install is uh, twin socket, so it means automatic you're going to use 3x6 GI box as your back box. Okay? Now for hand dryers, 1,250 mounting height, always measure that in the center of the box. For example, this is your 3x3 three three box, okay, for switch. So it means from the center of the box, going to your finish floor level, the standard mounting height is 1,250 mm for the switch, okay. Always measure from the center of the box. Don't measure it here the bottom or don't be sure from the top always center of the box okay then you can do now your alignment using your split level okay for the fire fire alarm horn and uh, strobe it is 2350 and for the manual manual pull station or brake glass it is 1400 mm Again, it depends on the project specification. Okay, so gentlemen, I hope this morning uh, I shared to you some important uh, uh, points which is uh, always using on the site, especially here in Qatar. Now for the installation of your box, for example, you have uh, two numbers of 3x3 GI box. Okay, the distance of this three, two 3x3 three three box should be 125 mm again you should measure it in the center of the box okay that is the standard distance always uh, remember this you will not able to install your box as, as you like there is a, a standard uh, mounting installation now this is showing the distance no if you have 3 by 3 2 3 by 3 is near each other the distance should be 125 mm measuring from the center of the box that is the standard distance of your 3x3 three three box okay now if you are using one 3x3 three three box and one 3x6 box okay the distance should be 175 mm again from the center of your box okay then for the small power socket telephone data uh, the standard mounting height is 450 from the pinis floor level okay 450 millimeters okay it's from the center of the box okay gentlemen uh, that's all for today i hope you learn uh, new things or uh, it's add your uh, it's add to your knowledge this uh, topic for today and i hope you you're happy for this one Okay, that's all for today, gentlemen. Uh, until the next uh, lecture or until the next vlog. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, that's it for today. Good luck.